<laughs> this is gonna be a fun one, boys. Um, so, you get a phone call at 4 pm. You get a tap on the shoulder. What's on the phone? Friday, what's on the phone? It's Friday, bro. Columba, I'm Columba. What's the hype about Columba? I haven't been to Columba. I haven't listened to the scene. And then you're contemplating, yeah, fuck it, let's go. And then you go. Older guy, chin guy. Now, Gordon's Gordon said, Papa, I'm a mascot. Mixed rice guy, seafood rice guy, kotu guy, devil chicken guy, devil pork guy, devil beef guy. Hot butter, curry fish, hot butter mushroom. Put that, put that, me, me, I'll put that salad in a bag of salad. The most important thing ice, lime. Which is name is slices. Mother, I'm just gonna go. So that's the scene. That's how it starts. Me, mama, karane ya ne me, mam karane ya ne me, mam yaalo ko. You're gonna have shandy with it. You're gonna have shandy coke. We need all the coke, coke session, tonic, and all that, right? You have a crazy session. You eat all that food, rice, kotu, super oily stuff. And then you have cigarettes at night. And then we go home, puke or not puke, and wake up, and your whole day is ruined. You could change a bit. Let's talk about it and hope you can still be an alcoholic and still get some gains. You could change that night into a much more healthier night, physically, mentally, socially as well. At 4 o'clock you can decide, I'm not going, I'm gonna go home, eat a workout, have a good shower, have an 8 hour sleep because it's Saturday. That's the best case scenario. That's not gonna happen man, I'm gonna get fucked up. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, alright? You go. Best thing you could drink is hard liquor, not beer, not a cocktail. Hard liquor and ice, tonic, soda, water, and lime. You can get as much water as you can throughout the drinking session with the boys, and also have as less fried rice, less kotu as possible. Have the chicken, have the have the meat, have the fish, have the tilapia, have the but hot butter mushroom. Hot butter mushroom is actually I'm on the edge about it, but man, it's something. I mean, mean taj, hot butter, cuttlefish, hot butter mushroom. Come on, man, it's amazing. And the and and the and the machang rice is just mad. And when the bitter comes with the machang on top, bro, it's vibes, big vibes, right? Have eggs, have eggs. It's good. That's how you should eat, and that's how you should drink. How much you should drink? Just try not to puke because your social life is gonna look shit there. You're not gonna feel good about it. You're you're probably gonna do some stupid shit. You're too drunk. And the next thing is smoking. Personally, this is why I think how smoking affects our workout. It affects our endurance. I wouldn't say it necessarily affects the intensity. I could lift pretty much only just like a bit more weight than I could before and after I stopped smoking. Thanks to COVID, actually. Thanks to Omicron, I got Omicron and then I stopped. After that, I didn't see too much of a big difference, but I can work out for three, four hours, man. I can run for 20 minutes without stressing out too much. Of course, my general workouts help, consistency help, but there's a massive difference I could see in terms of my workout. And the intent and the endurance of the intensity. Intensity, of course. But always when you think about it, I can be my intensity can be long. So that's possibly something that I noticed as well. So obviously the only thing that's good for your lungs is oxygen. I personally believe it, or maybe if you're having super oxygen like Michael Jackson or someone who's in who's in the ICU. That's how a healthy drinking session could go. I'll just recap it for the sake of your Goldfish brains. If you can avoid, definitely avoid. Have some water and go to sleep. Stick to hard liquor, tonic, ice, water, and lime. Have chicken, meat, fish, uh, eggs. When it comes to uh, the bites that you're gonna have. Smoking, obviously, it's not good. It's hard to quit. We all have our problems. We all have our vices. Go home and puke. Have a lot of water and then go to sleep. That's what my professional friends and myself would do, always. So you have to just change small, small habits in life to get to get to where you really want. Which is hard work, consistency, and saying no when you really want to. So, yeah, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Cheers, man. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.